playing with the polyurethane resin again. It's two part resin, measure either by weight or by volume. I have measured mine out by volume. And um, yeah, I've already got it laid out here, pre-measured in my cups. And I'm gonna try something. I don't know if it'll work. I'm gonna try it though. And cross my fingers that it works. <laughs> and yeah, we'll see. Um, I've got some, this is Cal floating mica powder. I guess some of it's supposed to float and do its thing and stuff. I got it from um, Ivy Lepore on um, Ivy Lepore Art on Etsy. So I'm gonna open that up real quick. And I'm gonna take one of my part A's, actually my part B. Yeah, my part B. I'm gonna use my part B, that's the hardener. And I'm going to mix some of this stuff in here. And I'm not gonna mix my part A and my part B until we're ready to pour, because this is a quick cure. It sets up within about 10 minutes. Wow, that's pretty. I don't think you need much of it. That stick was probably plenty. Okay, just look at that. See how it kind of floats along the top? It's very pretty. Just kind of mix that all in. Hopefully there won't be any chunkies. It's very splishy splashy. Okay, so. But yeah, it's very fine. Very, very fine. So there, we'll set that there. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. I get nervous sometimes doing these things. Okay, now if you saw me using this in some of my little heart molds, I really liked the black and the white one. It kind of had like a cow look to it and stuff, and it was really cool. So I'm gonna put some Mantia black down and I'm just kind of string it around. Come on. Oh my, it doesn't want to come out. Come on. We're making a mess. Making a mess. Come on. Yep, there's a big blob. There we go. Now we're getting some drops coming. There. Put a couple down there. around. All right, let me put that up out of the way. Oh boy, here we go. We're going to mix these really quick. I'm going to mix these two last just because I think they will probably cure the fastest. I don't have long tongue depressor sticks. I only have the popsicle sticks and they don't reach down well enough. So I'm going to use the end of these plastic spoons. So hopefully that'll mix them up well. I hope. All right, here we go. So in with that one. And that is very deep, so I think that is going to cure pretty darn fast. There we go. I can still see a few stringies in there, but not many. All right, and then this one, in you go. This one's gonna be harder to see the stringies in. There we go. Mix, 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 mix. And mix, 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 mix. It's starting to get warm. Oh my goodness, here we go. All right, pour, 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 pour. Oop, we overfilled. I always overfill. Okay, and dumping the rest into the candle mold. All right, there we go. And I forgot to add black to my candle mold. 
Oh my gosh. Oh wow, how weird is that? It all kind of went to one side. Let's see if we can busy it around. There we go. This one too. Oh my gosh, what a mess did I make. Holy cow, I over poured so bad. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh, Julie. Yeah, and there's not going to be any saving it either. God darn it. All right. Oh my goodness. Julie, 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 what did you do? <laughs> oh, shit. Oops, I got to bleep that out. I need to bleep that out. Doggone it. Oh, wow. All right. Let's see how it cures. I felt it getting hot in the cup and I kind of panicked. So, <laughs> oh my goodness. I guess I had a little bit more working time left than I thought just from watching this. I just, I started out using the Alumilite white and that stuff, man, if you're not freaking fast as fireballs, it it starts to cure in the cup and you're like totally messed up. Okay, I can see my table slightly off tilt a little bit. I got more in that end than I do in this end, but I think we'll be okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. What a mess. What a mess. Wow. Oh, starting to cure now. Okay. Okay. I like how this is floating on the top of it though. Isn't that cool? That is cool. I like that pigment. Uh, or mica powder, I mean. I like that. Okay, let's see. Yep. They are hard, but they are hot very hot so we're gonna let them cool down and when we come back we'll go ahead and demold them should be in about maybe 10-15 minutes how cool is that yeah. <laughs> okay this is cool to the touch so we're going to go ahead and well it's not cool to the touch it's still warm to the touch but we're gonna go ahead and peel it up see it doesn't stick to this stuff so that's good um, I am noticing some texture on the back side that always seems to kind of be the case with this kind of stuff. Let me pop that one out of there. There we go. So, yeah, all that overshot will hopefully trim off nice and easy. This is the fun part, isn't it? And it's nice because I think we only waited like 15 minutes at the most. So, yeah, it's still very warm to the touch. There we go. And then this stuff. Ooh, look at the back. It's kind of cool. Very graffiti, abstract, kind of cool looking. I like that kind of messy look. See how easy that trims? Just take your X-Acto knife and away we go. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, got a little deep there. Yeah. Okay, so there's that piece. Now this one, here we go. Here we go. Ah, oh, the overpour isn't too bad on this one. Not much trimming at all. Boom. Nothing there. Nothing up my sleeve. There we go. Ooh, I almost hit that mold, didn't I? Like I said, it's one of those days everything I touch falls apart. All right. How cool is this? Look at that. Check that out. That is really weird, wonky, and I'm loving it. All right. So, we're going to put it in. Let's see. Yeah, let's put it in this way. I guess we could. Yeah. Come on. It's still warm, so it might not go. Come on. There. There we go. How cool is that? 
Trilla. Very cool, right? I'm digging it. You digging it? I'm digging it. And you could do either side, depending upon what you liked. I dig it. It'll even hold a uh, tablet. So, yeah. Very nice, very handy. I love making these things. Um, this would be ready to ship today. If I did it with regular epoxy resin, it probably wouldn't be ready to ship for at least three weeks so that it can cure really hard and not completely bend once it's standing with the weight of a phone or a tablet. So you've got to really let that set up and cure for its um, like 30 day hardening routine that epoxy resin does, this white stuff. It's going to be completely hard and ready to ship within an hour. That's one of the nice things about the epoxy white. But like I said, a lot of drawbacks as far as artistic fun, you know, and creative fun, but I'm experimenting. I'll find things and we'll continue to have fun. I kind of like this graffiti look, this abstract kind of graffiti, very organic feel to it. So I think I'm gonna keep this one for me. <laughs> I'm digging that. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, till next time guys. Loves and hugs. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back real quick. <laughs> you thought the video was over, didn't you? Haha. <laughs> Suckers. No. <laughs> um I forgot I poured a tea light with the leftovers. So um yeah, I thought you'd like to see that demolding. It's still warm because it's a deep mold. I wouldn't suggest pouring any deeper than this. Anything over two inches, you're risking uh, some damage to your mold and overheating and causing that kind of thermal reaction and stuff. It's not sticky anymore, so that's good. I think all my copper got lost. I do, I do. Oh, that is so weird. So weird. <laughs> it looks like one of those um, um, warty gourds, you know, so I mean it's perfect for fall, I guess. But yeah, it's got little bumps and everything all over it. Wow, it must have gone in really bubbly and because of how deep it was and close to its curing time, it just, it fizzed up. So yeah, don't do this. <laughs> unless you want that reaction I didn't want that reaction I wanted more of this pretty gold to show up too I can see in there that it's in there but it just it really didn't show up and that would really need to be sanded a lot and everything so yeah I don't suggest the let's resin white for deep molds oof but it's really solid. <laughs> All right. This time for sure. Till next time, guys. Loves and hugs, y'all. Bye.